So let me ask you guys a question. And this is in regards to this whole thing with Diddy. I'm seeing a lot of people on TikTok. I'm seeing a lot of content creators. I'm seeing a lot of podcasters. They always, even 50 Cent, he's throwing dog whistles at Jay-Z. Why is it that y'all niggas want Jay-Z to go down with Diddy? It's like, it's to the point where you niggas is literally praying for something to happen to Jay-Z. I mean, I'm trying to understand it. First, you're trying to sit there. You're trying to connect the dots with the, with Beyonce. You're trying to connect the dots with him being a pedophile messing with Foxy. You're trying to connect the dots with anything. Why is it that y'all are going too hard and trying to bring this dude down? Y'all ain't pay attention to how the execs in Universal were already dismissed from being a part of the lawsuit. You don't see them going on code with that, but y'all want to go on code on each other so bad. And let's be clear. A lot of y'all don't want to see justice. Y'all don't care about these girls. Y'all don't care about the alleged victims. Y'all just want to see a shit show. A lot of y'all just want to see a train wreck. And if them bringing Jay-Z down, that's giving y'all views, that's giving y'all clicks. Y'all don't really give a damn about these victims or these girls or these alleged victims. People just want to see fuckery. Because if you really did, if you really care, you would even set up programs to where you fighting this and you aiding people in your own neighborhood. A lot of you people are not even in the music business and y'all sitting there acting like you know what's going on with the music business. That's what befuddles me. Then you read goofy people like Jaguar Wright and, and all these other people and you want to put connect the dots together and come up with stupid conclusions and not even knowing what you're talking about. Why is it you want to see Jay-Z fall? Because what it is, it seems like to me, even with this, I'm seeing a lot of black people doing this shit. Y'all are envy of rich and successful black men. It pains you to believe that a lot of us were able to navigate and be intelligent enough to achieve wealth and riches without either sucking dick, without taking it up the ass, or without selling it out somebody. Or becoming an agent, or doing, or or this is another buzzword these niggas love doing, blood sacrificing. <laughs> a lot of y'all haven't even been in an industry boardroom. Y'all sitting there talking about, oh, so and so sacrificed this, oh, so and so is an industry sacrifice, the Illuminati. Get the fuck out of here, man! Y'all sound crazy as hell. Y'all sound stupid. Y'all haven't been partake in one business meeting within the record industry. And yet everybody has a story. Everybody has an assumption. And with, and with Jay-Z, why would you want to bring this dude down? I have my share of fair criticism of Jay-Z, but he's one of the few left that's actually giving you niggas deals. Even though I don't agree with a lot of what he does, but... At the same time, I would rather have him up at the mantle than a lot of these either bootlegs or people that don't have a clue of running hip hop or cared about hip hop. At least Jay-Z comes from the cloth. At least Jay-Z, for the most part, put up money to start title. At least Jay-Z put up money for black artists to get compensated through the Super Bowl, even though it's giving them more exposure. Y'all go fuck around and eliminate every black person available to where now you're not going to have nobody to help. Jay Prince is no longer involved with the business like that. Dane Dash is trying, but he done burnt bridges. Irv Gotti done burnt bridges. Who's left? Russell was, Russell was out of the country. Who's left? Jermaine Dupree ain't got the juice. Diddy's done. Suge Nice is locked up. Fat Joe barely hanging on, but he ain't put nobody on. He's trying to run for office or whatever he's trying to do with these political moves. More power to him. But nobody is in the music business that's really the 
help captivate, motivate, and push the line for the next generation to get on. 50 Cent isn't even in the music. He ain't even doing music no more. He's doing movies. So, again, there's nobody within hip-hop. You might got Snoop with Death Row, but that's it's not the same. And y'all pushing everybody out for what? For for clickbait? For views? It's disgusting to me. Y'all want this man to fall without any form of proof. Without just accusations. And it's not about saving no girls. It's not about saving the youth. You motherfuckers just want to build your channels up. That's all it is. That's all it is. Y'all just want to build your cloud up. You want cloud off this. It's excitement to you guys. It's not exciting. Why would you want a man to go down as an alleged pedophile? Is that exciting to you? I'm like, y'all are sick, man. <laughs> y'all are really sick. And this metaverse has opened up lanes for sick people to come in. And just... Be the loudest in the room where a lot of y'all will be considered weirdos back in the day. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just looking at this stuff and I'm just disgusted, man. And people can say what they want, but you take Jay-Z out the game, who's left? Who's going to put you on? You're going to see nothing but a bunch of Jake Pauls running hip-hop. That's all. Watch what I say. Y'all keep playing. So this is King Eric signing out. Subscribe hit the like button. Peace.